against Pollock. Because legit, I have zero fucking clue what this guy can do. So, probably should know that if I'm going to play any solo kill. And he gets two. This is Pike, the Blood Harbor Ripper. Abandoned by his Wait. crew, Pike drowned. Hold on a second. First of all, this is a lot of shit. Second of all, why is Rivington doing the champion spotlight? Where's my freak, dude? Come on, man. But didn't stay dead. Apparently this guy's aggressive as shit, revenge, so we'll see. This revenant of the deep stalks, cripples, and kills everyone on a list that keeps getting longer. Mm. Does he get to ride that during the Welcome actual gameplay? That would be pretty fair. Pike's passive is Gift of the Drowned Ones. When Pike is unseen by enemies, he rapidly regenerates some health recently lost to enemy champions. Wow. Pike also converts bonus health he gets from Two any passes. source into bonus attack damage, Excellent. including items and ally abilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pike's Q is Bone Skewer. That looks fun. I smell panic. If you tap Q, Pike shish kebabs and greatly slows all enemies in front of him. If you hold Q a little longer, Pike readies and then throws his harpoon, impaling the first enemy struck and pulling them towards him. Bone Skewer's harpoon will always pull your catch the same distance, which means you can reel champs through walls and fling close enemies behind you. Pike's W is Ghost Water Dive. Pike dives into spectral waters, entering camouflage and gaining a significant increase to movement speed that decays over a few seconds. I assume it has to be used Pike's in the river. W is great for diving enemies, but it's also your main way to claim gift of the drowned ones in the middle of a fight. Taking a few seconds to slip out of sight will keep your health I'm popped off sure. and your enemies super salty. If a champion spite lots out, he has to be out. Right? That's how it works, I thought. Pike's E is Phantom Undertow. Pike dashes, leaving behind a drowned phantom. After a delay, not sure, the Phantom returns to Pike, damaging and stunning enemies it passes through. Stun. The Phantom is a die-hard oh. dive buddy who will follow Pike to his final destination. Okay, you can flash no matter how deep you go Jesus, or how this guy's got a lot there. of movement, too. We'll Don't see. Don't make it a habit to always start with your Q harpoon. Stay unpredictable by mixing up your engage and leading in with a Phantom Okay, let me, let me stop you right here, fucking Riv. Like, dude. Uh, what, what am I doing? You thought? What did I do? Hold on, hold on. Let me just stop this. Let me stop. You thought. All right. <laughs> First of all, Riv, you can't steal this guy's champion spotlight thing and then do the puns that Freak does. You can't do that. Get your own style. You're like the hype guy. Like, don't be Fearing punning. Enemies. Screw Pike's the champion spotlight. Death from below. What the fuck? Did I support right? Sure. Pike strikes in an X-shaped area, blinking to champions. And executing those below a certain amount of health. Executing resistances and shields. So true damage is what you're telling me. Enemies above the threshold take damage normally. He's not doing this one. I don't know why. When a champion dies in the X area for any reason, he can use death from below again. No, not a reset to. Ah, please. They're like. Additionally, the last ally to assist Pike's homicide joins in the plunder, gaining full kill goal. It's not kill stealing. It's what? kill sharing. What? In lane, Pike is constantly angling for an all-in and a chance to hook, line, and sink. Him. Sinker, yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna fucking execute this shit. Uh, I guess it's pretty well. He's pretty well. Once you've chopped up Bob, oh, never mind. search the map for more opportunities to keep killing. Oh, that's the jungle right now. Marks the spot. Excellent. Support's just fucking just murdering make sure him. To keep an eye Support, on the by the way. Enemies with backup, or you might find yourself struggling to stay afloat. Okay, but like, look, uh, here, okay, here, here's basically, I want to give you guys an example, okay, so, first of all, this guy's a fucking idiot, why would you dash in the fucking Braum, like, look, there's no way in fucking hell that these two Nimrods in a real support game, I mean, I'm into him too, but like, he just seems like he's gonna be really strong, there's no way, okay, this is so cute in a fucking nutshell, my ADC takes a fucking terrible trade, alright, you ready? I'm like Pike right here. I'm like, duh, dude, bro. Like, what are you fucking walking up the Brom for and walking in the Brom Lucian? You know? And then poor me. I'm poor Pike. I'm like, yo, my ADC just fucking ditched me. I mean, it's probably got. She's probably got heal th still. You know, you got heal. It is how it is. And then like, you might find yourself struggling to stay. He's like, well, heal me, dude. Heal me. 
and she just keeps running away. The Ripper likes runes but that like, maximize his plundering potential. Take domination for runes like Electrocute and Sudden Impact to fillet foes wherever he goes. Dipping into sorcery for water walking. Again, he's clarity, like murdering the jungle. That's the only thing I'm worried about. A and he can use his W in a lane. When it so. comes time to spend your blood money, buy items like Dust Blade or Yomu's Ghost. Oh my to God! Damage and okay. For more in lane utility. Try a traditional support item like relic. <laughs> Try a traditional support item. Gift of the down ones <laughs> Buy a make support sure item. Still racking up the attack damage. While Pike doesn't hundred to zero targets as quickly as other assassins, the Ripper can He's a fucking support. And still send what? To the depth no, no. <sighs> in just a few seconds, landing a bone skewer ensures they're caught in the phantom undertow. He just fucking two we want a min and a support right there. Easy kill. Ghostwater Dive and Phantom Undertow double as mobility, allowing the Ripper to rapidly traverse the map for a good old gank and shank. Pike's gank versatile shank. movements extend to his alt. Crafty cutthroats can exploit the blink effect to make tricky picks. So if you're on board with death as the ultimate crowd control, make Pike part of your I mean, he, he like literally is a champion straight up for me because he's got like a hook and like Thanks for tuning he's got in a lot fight. of... He reminds me of Bard slash like Echo. It's really fucking weird. Like... If I'm going to actually relate him to any champion in the game, he actually reminds me of fucking Echo. I don't know why. He's got, like, a dash kind of thing. He's got a stun. Echo has, like, a weird dash on, like, an auto, too. And he's got a slow on his Q. So he reminds me of fucking Echo, actually. <laughs> Mike, not if you're playing Pike. Not if you're playing Pike. Okay, so I got to I gotta really test this guy out. I was going to do Flex, because, A, I still need to do... I need to get my T 